Diddy Taylor, Amanda Serrano just threw their face off and they proved you don't have to be disrespectful to the opposition. Before I get into the breakdown, hit the thumbs up, sub, notification bell. That way you get updated when I drop the newest content like this. With that being said, let's get into the breakdown. So I actually thought this was a very good breakdown with Ariel Hawani, even though I can't stand him. I don't like him. I really don't. I don't know why I don't, but he's just got that type of face that you want to punch. So by nature, I don't like him. But he did a very good interview, asked very good questions in the sit down. And Amanda and Katie were very respectful of each other. Neither one claimed the other one ducked them because it took about, what, two, three years for this fight to be made. They both agreed that it was better for it to be made now because they're going to pay more money. Amanda kind of credited that to Jake Paul. How much of an impact he had in this fight being made, I do not know. But I do know that with him comes a lot of promotion, a lot of eyes from YouTube. So the up in their pay, he probably did impact a lot. As far as the fight being made, I don't know how much he had to do with that. But Amanda said that, you know, <laughs> she had to come back to America from Puerto Rico because she was losing three to four pounds. And she was losing weight too fast. I guess that's because her body is naturally acclimated to fight at a lower weight. So she had to take it easy. I just hope during the training camp, she didn't take it too easy trying to avoid not to lose that weight. They did bring up three-minute rounds. Katie said she would be okay with doing 12 three-minute rounds. However, for this fight, she disagreed with it because she felt like the pay should be three, three minutes for 12 rounds worth of pay. And I'm thinking to myself... This is y'all's highest payday ever. So if I believe it's been reported she's getting $1.5 million and Serrano's getting around $750,000. If $1.5 million isn't enough for 12 three-minute rounds, then, hey, I don't know what is. <laughs> like, because that's a big payday. But I really do hope that a lot of people tune in to see this fight. I personally believe that this is one of the biggest fights in all of boxing. I believe it's one of the biggest fights in all of boxing in years. So I really like this fight. I think it's two of the best women of the division. I know you have Shields over there too, but I would say Serrano, Taylor, and Shields are the top three of women boxing. And I mean, you could place them in any order that you want. There's an argument to be made for all of them. You could have Shields number one. You could have Serrano number one. You could have Taylor number one. You could have any other three at number two or three, it, it, to me, it really doesn't matter because they're all huge names and they're all huge fighters. And to get two of those huge names together to fight is amazing. It's amazing. And I really like it. And I really hope people support this fight. But again, back to where I began, both of them were extremely respectful to each other. And I like that. I like that. Serrano said that, you know, she was happy Katie came along because of Katie. A lot of doors open for women boxers. So she didn't even have a sour taste in her mouth about Katie getting more light shined on her than she did because it's kind of seemed like Ariel was trying to like get Serrano to open up and be like, oh, I'm the jealous one in the background. But Serrano, she never was jealous about it. She said she liked it because it helped her. So I like that too, that Serrano's not bitter, even though Ari... Ariel was trying to get her to, to seem better. I didn't like that part, but overall, he did a good job in the interview. Let me know what y'all thought about this interview. And as we get closer to the fight after the wins, I'll do my breakdown, my prediction of who wins. However, ah, finally got one wrong. Ah, perfect streak's over. But hopefully, we'll come back swinging hard with this fight. <laughs>